Well, here we are. Drawing, you know, I gotta find a picture of the picture I'm gonna draw. And today I'm gonna be drawing Big Octo. As you can see, there's my little stegosaurus chilling with me. Sometimes we like to hang out when I draw. And now we're gonna get to this. We're gonna, yeah, it's gonna be a really long video. Seven minutes of, uh, eight minutes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Gotta talk for eight minutes. I know this is really boring. Uh, so I'm drawing Big Octo from Majora's Mask, like the best game ever, you know? So, what this game really needs to be done is made into a 3D game for 3DS. I'd really love that. Kind of be portable, but it's not, so kind of sucks. And in this, this little uh, thing here, this is my first episode of this. I'm going to color and draw Big Octo from Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time, which they used the same model for because it was basically the same game, just changed from one engine to the other, just a couple dozen major edits that made it different, such as addition of new characters and enemies and stuff, but basically the same game except for the whole mask process, which completely changed everything. Um, so, Big Octo is this big, huge, squid octopus looking thing that you can fight in Woodfall. Yeah. In, or, no, no, not in Woodfall. Is it Woodfall, or is it, um, Woodfall, it's either, whatever that, oh, no, no, I know what it is, I'm trying to remember this from memory, because it's better that way, um, something swamp, it's, it's coming to me, I'm gonna get it, uh, gosh, this is killing me. Uh, something, I'm gonna look it up. Swamp Major's Mask. What was it called? I'm gonna, oh, Southern Swamp. There we go. Southern Swamp in Termina. So this, so there's this big octo thing, right? He's a big octopus squid looking thing. He doesn't really have eight legs, I don't think. He's got like four and he's from the southern swamp he he can um hide hang out in these little caves right and he's like hey you can't get past me because i'm fat and that's basically all he does he can but if you get too close he can suck you in and uh throw you out into the poisonous water which sucks because you can easily die that way if you suck at the game but I don't suck, so I don't die. Um, but if you're Zora Link, you can... I think you can take your, uh... Your arm fin boomerang things, and you can hit them. I know you can hit them with the arrows, and, uh... I know the boat kills them when you go on the camera tour. If you've never played this game before, you really, really shouldn't be watching this until you've played it, or at least seen a walkthrough or something or other of the game. Um, in, May in Ocarina of Time, he was in Jabu Jabu's Belly, I can remember that perfectly, because I played that game like 10,000 times, and um, he was a mini-boss, and you had to go around in a circular room where there's a bunch of spikes, and if you glide into the wall, you're going to get hurt, and then he'll chase you around, and you have to basically get him when he turns around, you have to hit him with uh, your boomerang and that'll stop him from moving and on his butt there's a big glowing green thing you gotta hit sometimes it's open and sometimes it's not depending on how many times you've hit him so he's pretty, he's not that hard actually 
It only takes a couple minutes to beat. And look at that. I'm getting, getting that up on the paper. Look at that. Little spike. Another little spike gonna could be added on there. So the big octo is basically just a bigger version of the Octorok, which is another enemy from both of those games. And the Octorok shoots big rock looking things that kind of look like sponges, I think. Yeah. And they're they're also purple, have this metal looking thing. They're not metal, more like rock on their head. And they have these uh, tubular looking lips. So they're very similar in appearance because the big octo has a giant shell on its back. And I think that's basically it about the big the, the octo rock and the big octo. Um, what else could I talk about? Oh yeah, the Octorok. You gotta use a shield to knock their things, their uh, rocks back at them. And then it kills them. Or you can just do whatever you want. You could just hit them with your boomerang or arrows or kadooku nuts. Whatever you want to really. It doesn't really matter. But that that's the easiest way. Use the um, shield. In Ocarina of Time, there was going to be ones that walk on land, but those were just in the beta version, and they changed that because it wasn't very appealing, and it seemed kind of old style, and they wanted to do something new. So I kind of like that they did that, because it made things interesting. Um, unless it's just showing you my picture. I didn't notice. Um, So, almost done here gonna be showing you the colored version in a couple minutes like a minute I think yeah that should be more interesting than me talking about squid monsters pretty apathetic today usually other days I'm really excited but I'm not today okay I don't think I did much shading with the pencil today I just Oh, look, there I am. I'm done. I'm waving at you. That means I'm going to leave for a while and going to make some re minor edits in color and you'll see the final result. And we're back with the final result. Oh, that was a smooth transition, wasn't it? Little, oh, look at that. Color him nice and purple and he's got his little sad green eyes and shell. Well, I was making this video to inspire more fan art for the game because I look on DeviantArt there's like 248 results for Big Octo and about three of them were for Majora's Mask or Ocarina of Time so it kind of made me depressed and I've just noticed there's a lot of fan art lacking in general and there you have it just Big Octo any requests give them to me yeah <laughs>